Right, so this is Mark Crawford from, is it really called Feeding Little People? It is indeed, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Right, start with what is the business? What's the proposition? The, the business is basically to be an online resource for parents who um, have questions and challenges over feeding any child under 11 or 12. Um, the founder is a lady called Michelle, who uh, is a parent, and the, the challenge is you've got mother care for everything, baby sort of equipment stuff, you've got early learning center for toys, you've got websites you know, all about fairies if you want to dress your child up as a fairy. There's nothing at the moment that sort of appeals to the single most important thing in any parent's life, which is their child's nutrition. And, and we, there, isn't, there isn't a single site to go to. There are lots of advice sites about everything to be a mom or a dad. But isn't you, there, I, I have to admit, I'm not an expert in the area, but I believe there's a very popular, certainly there's one in the States, a very popular website. Is it like Mumsnet or something like that? Or, yeah, it is. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Yep, What's it called? Mumsnet. It is Mumsnet. It is Mumsnet. It's is it M-U-M? Right. Then it's definitely a UK site. Yeah. Um, I don't have a mum. I have a mom. Yeah, we yeah. have mums. Yeah, you have mums. Yeah. And, and so is, you're stuck. It, it's, it's a general advice site. But how much chatter and talk and advice and feedback on that site is there about nutrition and food? There must be some very active forums on there that subject there. There is a reasonable there. amount. The advantage or the, the, the sort of what we bring is we've brought together a team of uh, a nutritional therapist who specializes in children. She also is a, a well-known author of a, a children's feeding book on, on how to get children to eat the right things without them realizing it. Um, we've got a dietitian who's a research fellow at the University of uh, Portsmouth. We've got a couple of professors from Oxford coming into it to provide the really sort of the, the serious side of it. And we've got a group of mums who um, double check everything we say and everything we do because it's really easy to come up with a great idea. And then you go and talk to a mum and they go, so what stage is this business at right now? The business at the moment is we, we, we know the ideas, we know the basic architecture of the site and what we want to do with it, and we've got all the people involved, but the one area we don't know anything about, and we haven't yet found anyone that, that we can rely on to give us the right information, is launching a website properly and, and kind of getting it to that point where um, we can launch it as a site that has connected into it a revenue stream, which is through affiliates and selling online, selling food, equipment. It books. occurs to me, let's assume for purposes of discussion, that you are correct that there is desire for this kind of information. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, because I can't know that sitting here, but in assuming it, it opens up a much more interesting conversation, and that is, what is the business model that's gonna make you guys just pots of money very quickly. Yeah. Well, first and foremost, you say you know the structure of the site. I find that a very interesting statement. So what is that structure, just out of curiosity? Do you know? Um, Are you technical enough to have that conversation? No, but when I say the structure, it's, it's the sort of the overriding, if I as a parent come into it, you, know, you start with a, a welcome page, it'll have blogs and forums and a shop and advice centers and um, areas you can go into to get further. And are you looking for capital? We will be, yes, but what we really, I guess at this Why stage, are you looking for capital? Because you know the interesting thing about this discussion? Mm -hmm. It takes little or none for you guys to get started. Things have changed again. And it's a point worth bearing if anybody else is sitting in the audience thinking about starting what amounts to a publishing site, yeah. for lack of a better expression. Yes, you're trying to develop a very specific community, a community around a common interest, that's great. And I think that your forums could become very active forums. because. There is no single answer to nutrition, and it's a sometimes healthy and sometimes very unhealthy debate, but it's a, it's a very loud debate. And it, there's a lot of people with views on the subject as well. Um, and I think you guys could do a lot of provocative things to inspire debate and therefore probably draw attention in. But I also believe right now that the most important thing is to get eyeballs to a site, and the way to get people to a site is SEO, search engine optimization. Therefore, you have to ask yourself, how do you get people to discover you on the inbound? If somebody's typing in keywords because they're curious, there's a certain prospective universe of people who want to know, and they're going to go looking. They need to find you. Okay, there's, I have a one-word answer for you. 
WordPress. WordPress is an open source, open architecture blog structure. It's not perfect, it's not awful, but it's the best for building SEO based sites that are essentially publishing sites and it's growing like a weed and there's huge numbers of plugins and the kind of commerce you're gonna do and the kind of forums you want, you can do all this. It can all be plugged in and do you know what it costs? Very, very little. And you get very little more by taking other frameworks that are much more sophisticated, that are designed for much more complex activities and trying to put yourself in that position. Okay. So on the one hand, you can create something that looks however you want, but sits on top of this and move very, very fast. Because it's gonna be about content. And that content has to be written in a way <laughs> so that people, when they look for it, find you. Absolutely. And your sole goal should be to be the number one organic result when the top 10 topics come up. Mm -hmm. So that people come to you, and I'll give you the same advice I gave to Lauren before you. They can't, your goal one is to get them to the site to read that one thing. Goal two is to make sure once they're at the site and on that page, on an incredibly granular, obsessive basis, to ask what else might they do while they're here. So if they come and they read an article about my baby won't feed or whatever it is that they won't do that's caused the compelling moment, yeah. you want to know that if there's a forum conversation going on, they should see that right next to it. Oh, there's a forum on that right now. Oh, somebody had a question about that last week. Oh, we did a short form video. We're a world famous expert. And each one of them, you know, you're reading this, you might be interested in this. You need to keep them there and keep them engaged. And then you need to grab a registration. And therefore, there needs to be a reason for a registration. Mm -hmm. There needs to be a quid pro quo. You need to give them something to get something. Yeah. And you're not giving them something in the form of money. It'll be something. It'll probably be discounts or a coupon or a welcome basket. If you've got a series of vendors whose products you want to sell, you can set up coupon relationships where join the site. First thing we do, first month, here's our welcome basket. And a welcome basket goes back out to them. Mm -hmm. And as you can imagine, if you can get enough people to that site, then you will very easily have affiliate relationships, sponsorship and revenue advertising, because you'll know more about those customers than anybody. That's, yeah. Piece of cake. <laughs> Fantastic. But do you know what you don't need right now? Money. And you don't need money. You're not ready for investment. You're ready to actually start a business. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Piece of cake. Oh, well.